Last summer, we spent three months making the best trick shot video we've ever made, but the fails, bloopers, and the challenges along the way might be even more exciting to watch. For this trick shot, I had to figure out how to bullet strike right after the pin setter reset. I started by playing it safe and making sure there was no chance I would hit the bar. I later started cutting it close and unfortunately hit it two times. Huge thanks to the Marquette Annex for being super cool and letting me score this risky shot. That's how you do it. We saw how ridiculous drop basketballs like this and it looked really cool so we added our own twist. We both threw a ball, making the trick shot much more difficult and unpredictable. We aimed for a small spot on our driveway and that was all we could control. This trick shot actually took three nights to score. Most of the time, the tape would not stick together, and when it did, it would be in the wrong spot or start spinning. Fun fact, I've still only been to one golf course in my entire life. We're here at the park, and we were doing a tennis trick shot, and Matthew got a bug stuck in his eye. I can't get it out. I don't know what to do. We went home, got the bug out, and tried again the next day. Even if I popped the balloon, Matthew still had to catch the tennis racket, which proved to be a challenge. I dropped it. This really messes with your reflexes. You can't trust your instincts and pull your hand away. You gotta keep going for the tennis racket. I think fourth try is the charm. We got a ton of comments wondering if I had a mirror in the book, and the answer is nope, I have eyes in the back of my head. Well, actually, my dad was behind the camera and would say now when the frisbee was near. No. I still didn't know where the frisbee was going to go, so I ended up getting hit a few times, which wasn't too bad. Some people thought that we meant to cut the paper airplane in the shot, but we were trying to catch just the base. We made this one twice, but realized it was going to take many more hours to do it just how we wanted, so we stuck with the first one. And guys, this shot is so much harder than it looks. We have some amazing news. We are partnering with YouTube to give away something super special and limited edition, and I know you guys are gonna love it. So make sure to check out our shorts post tomorrow, June 22nd. You're not gonna wanna miss this, but let's go back to missing our trick shots. These have all been cool trick shots, but we needed something that would blow everyone away, and that's when we came up with level 100, throwing a frisbee through a spinning ring into a basketball hoop. I made the ring out of duct tape, and we went to the park to test it out. We got nowhere close, but we could tell that this would be amazing if it worked. After some terrible attempts the next day, Matthew thought it was actually impossible, and that the frisbee wouldn't go through unless we made the ring wider. This shot is literally impossible. I don't know why we're doing it right now. So we tested it out from a foot away and it took 27 tries to even score through once. Now imagine how long it would take to throw it through the ring into a basketball hoop. Yeah, we were pretty discouraged, so we went and tried another nearly impossible shot. We originally wanted to make this shot from this swing set into this basketball hoop, but when we arrived, there was a construction crew literally tearing down the swing set, so we relocated. For the next two days, Matthew had to swing for hours straight and barely even got close. With blisters on his hands, he had to start wearing gloves, and it became so tiring that we went back to the frisbee shot. Day two of this shot, nice and cool, feeling good. Not about the shot, really. We still were like 75% sure that the shot was impossible, but it helped to see it go through the ring once. It did not go through. Yes, it did. There's no way that went through. Even small amounts of wind pushed the ring, making it very hard to control. We went back to the soccer shot and fought through wind, rain, and heat. If Matthew threw the ball too far, it bounced off his toe or missed completely. Too short and it went off his shin. But kicking the ball so far to the right proved to be the most difficult challenge. Finally, after five days of work, this happened. The next time we went back, the swings were gone. Literally two times this video, we've gone to swing sets that have just been destroyed. I think swings are going extinct. Swings are Save the swings. It is very rare for us to spend five days on a trick shot, but we pushed on and slowly kept getting better. Just as things started to look up, we ran into another obstacle. Literally, I fell onto my computer and had to get stitches on my chin. My chin hurt whenever I looked up, so we had to work on some other trick shots. First, we scored level one for a second time. We made it three months earlier, but redid it because it looks a lot more colorful in the summer. Yes, this video was taking a long time. We 
used a squishy football so it wouldn't break the window. We're out here doing the moving disc golf target trick shot and we actually made it on like our fifth try and had to spend like another hour and a half to get it perfect. We wanted the basket to be in the center of the screen, not the right side, so we kept trying. If the skateboard veered onto the grass, the basket would fall off. So after every attempt, I would sprint to keep it from falling over. We scored a second time, but ended up using the first one. Maybe that's why we don't post enough. We redo the shots we already made. <laughs> we put this shot at level 20, but it took over two hours. No! This was seriously difficult. Dominoes are not easy to slide. Sometimes they go too fast, sometimes too slow. There's a phone charger in here. Finally, my stitches healed enough to return to the impossible frisbee shot. We barely saw anyone for the first six days we tried this, but today tons of cars lined up for a festival at the park across the street. They must have known we needed some encouragement because they played live music for us the whole time. Matthew made the frisbee into the hoop more times than we could count. And then somehow this happened. Oh, oh my goodness. You hit the thing and it went in. This is one of my all-time favorite trick shots. I love how satisfying it is when the cups come together. Oh, that was my first try of this. Yes! Matthew lets go of the frisbee right here and has to predict where the ring is going to end up even though I haven't released it yet. I have to predict where the frisbee is going to go and throw the ring in that exact spot. How do we do it? Saying 3, 2, 1 before every shot. Three, two, one. Matthew lets go right after I say 1 and I know to wait just a fraction of a second longer to release. I don't even need to look at him. The longer we tried, the more in sync we became and scored the frisbee through the ring 10 times in one day. Two in a row went through the hoop. One even got stuck in the hoop. Then we hit the backboard for the first time. Oh. No. No. Lord. We took a break from the shot and made some more trick shots. The frisbee, the frisbee blocked it. I think it blocked it from going in. I also haven't mentioned that before I got stitches, we spent hours trying to simultaneously Robin Hood a dart. No! This is never gonna work. We got super close about 10 times before finally getting it. This was definitely the second hardest trick shot in the video. We had been at this park for so long that people living nearby started to notice. One guy came up to us and said he had been watching us from his house for the past few weeks and thought we were doing a science experiment. Another lady walked by saying, doesn't your mom miss you? You're here morning, evening, and night. We scored it through the ring 15 times in one day, then 23 the next. Remember, we only scored once for the first four days. Even though this took a month and a half, we had a ton of fun being together outside in the warmth, getting good exercise, and that's why we could keep going for so long. Also, look at how much we improved over this time period. But finally, after the frisbee passed through the slot 65 times, got stuck inside twice, and scored 10 times after hitting the ring, this happened. It took like over a month to make, and it only takes you one second no. to subscribe. All that is just over now. That was level 100.